welcome back to a new tutorial and um today we're gonna be doing the second gear effect from the uh the anime called one piece so let's get right into it here i have a thumbnail it's created by kogren i think that's how you pronounce it but uh this is the best render i could find but um yeah let's just get right on into it First things first, you want to make a new layer. Now what you want to do is you want to use your brush tool. So let's go over here and we're going to turn the hardness to about, I want to say 25, something like that. Uh, we're going to turn the flow up to about, let's do 45 and the opacity, we're going to put it at somewhere around 70. I think that's good. All right, now what you want to do is you just want to brush on the parts where you want the effect so so i'm gonna go maybe actually we could turn the hardness all the way down and the flow a bit down as well all right now you just paint anywhere you want Now what you want to do is you want to right click and go to blending options. Now over here, we're going to make this the uh, pink color. So go with this. And now you want to slide inner glow and you want to make it white. Like that. All right. Now you want to do outer glow. I have it on screen mode. Um, let's do the same pink color. And let's drop this down. So, something like that. And, uh, hold on. We can add a drop shadow. It works the same way as the outer glow, pretty much. So, you just add that on top. Let's do the same pink color. Alright, now once you have this, we're just going to duplicate it, so hit Ctrl J, we're going to hide the previous layer, and you just want to right click on this and go to rasterize layer style. Once you have done that, we're going to use our smudge tool next, if you don't see it, it's probably a different icon, you just want to click and hold, and just select the smudge tool. I'm going to have my strength at around maybe 40 maybe 40 it's a lot of trial and error but now you could smudge it however you want all right now that you have that you want to change the blend mode to overlay duplicate it now you want to change this blend mode to screen and now you want to take this go to filter blur and gaussian blur you want to blur this one out just like that and we could also have this one overlay, just copy it again, and do the next one on um, the screen. Um, I'm going to copy the original again, I'm going to have this on normal, but I'm just going to lower it down. It's just a lot of trial and error. Alright, now, make a new layer again, right click, blending options. This time you want to uncheck this box, transparency shapes layer. We're gonna hit okay. And you wanna change the mode to color dodge. Make sure your color's on white and you wanna use your brush tool. And you just want to brush over the um, the effect. Obviously we gotta lower this down a whole bunch. As well as flow, as you can see. Now just to finalize everything and to make the whole image just look a lot better uh, I'm gonna click on the top layer, hold shift, click on the bottom one, control G, control J, and then control E Now you wanna hit control A, and then control J That's going to duplicate it And Now we're gonna take the top layer, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and we're just gonna blur out the background so 
there we go you want to use your eraser tool right over here and just erase out the parts that you don't want to be blurred so Now we're just going to merge these two, so hold control, click on this, control E, control J to duplicate again, go to filter, and turn the texture up, vibrance just a little bit, and you just want to play with these sliders until you get a result that you think looks nice. Here is the before image and here is the after image. So that's basically how you do the second gear effects. If you take more time with it, you could obviously make it look a lot better. But this is just a tutorial. Make sure you subscribe. I will see you all in the next video.